You might not be aware that you can create an email alias within Gmail. By adding a plus to the username in your Gmail, you can filter your incoming messages. This is especially useful with important emails or maybe those emails that you don't need to see right away. To begin, go to settings within your Gmail and go to filters. You want to create a new filter. The filter that you will create uh, will set it up that it is to a certain email address. In this case, my basic email is ghsband1, which is this email here. But I can add anything I want. As you can see, I've already tried one with spam. Uh, perhaps I want to create one with students. So if I have emails coming from students, I can have them send it directly to that email, and I could create a filter within my inbox uh, to filter those and I do a variety of things with those messages. I continue with the rest of the address. Then I go down to the lower right hand corner of this dialog box and create a filter with this search. Then I have a number of options of what to do with the messages when they arrive. I can have them skip the inbox and I can apply a label it chooses the label. In this case, I don't have any, so I can create a new label, which would be students. If I wanted to, I could go also into my inbox and create a special area of my inbox where these messages would go directly in, where I could see them right away. Obviously, a number of other things that I can do. I'm going to apply the label and have it stay in my inbox. I wouldn't want to check that box. I'm going to change that and I'm going to create the filter. Now when I compose a message, or when someone else composes a message and sends it to GHS band one plus students, and we'll put test as our subject and content, it sends that email you can see that the message has already arrived and that it's been labeled and put in the student folder. You can see that it also appears in the inbox because I did not tell it to archive it immediately. As always, if you have any other tech questions, please let me know.